The first round of the Eastern Conference play. Here in round one of the Eastern... possession. Here are the five for the Cavaliers. They've got C.J. McCollum, Fred Van Vliet out there with Mobley. Then there's Jakob Pertle, and it's Brown in at the two. And Middleton with the block! And even though Middleton doesn't foul up blocks, he has the link to disrupt shooters, and he did right there. And a second look at that rejection, taking no prisoners on defense there. Oh, you could feel the playoff intensity in that block. He's playing some extra aggressive defense out there. Brown passes to Pirtle. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Boy, getting his points the hard way. Jakob has to absorb contact and able to use his strength there. Pass to Noel. Ingram deciding where to go with it. Middleton with it. Guarded by Van Vliet. Middleton against Van Vliet. Three on the clock. Knocks it loose. Stolen by Mobley. Van Vliet outside. Now here's McCollum. Guarded by Vanderbilt. Vanderbilt against McCollum. Pocket six. The kick off to Van Vliet. And the three off target. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. Williamson outside. Ingram against Pirtle. Noel. And Noel hammers it down. An excellent job of reading the defense as Ingram's court vision continues to improve. So will his playmaker. And looks like an illegal pick was set. That gets the ref's attention. You can get away with one once in a while, but it looked like he wasn't completely set on that pick. I don't think there's any question. There are so many rules that favor the offense these days. You've got to be able to equal things out when an illegal screen is set. Williamson finds Ingram. Noel with a screen on Brown. Here's Ingram. Count it. Uh, there's no quit from this guy. He just gives you great effort and he continues to give you great production. Hurdle with a screen on Middleton. Here's Brown. It's hauled in by the Raptors. First quarter ball, almost two and a half minutes in. Here's Ingram. That's good. And so Middleton with the assist. Nice touch from the mid-range. Ingram looking confident, rising up and shooting from there. Now here's Brown. Here's Pirtle. And that one makes him two for two. He's in his rhythm. The Raptors with a lead. And we're about three minutes into this first quarter. Vanderbilt, a screen on Brown. And here's Ingram from the arc. McCollum pulls it in. I mean, I think that was their first miss of the game. They've been just rolling. Pass to Pirtle. Over Williamson. Misses off the left iron. The Raptors have gone three of four. Off to a nice start. To the paint. Here's Middleton. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. Jalen Brown picks one up. A proven champion. Middleton is someone any team would love to have. A great player and a great locker room presence as well. That free throw good for Middleton. And good on the second, so he makes them both. You can tell when he steps to the line the kind of confidence he has in himself. It's written all over his body language. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. And Mobley throws it down. If you're going to roll as the screen setter as Evan Mobley does there, you've got to be able to catch and finish. And he does just that. Williamson with it. Now guarded by Mobley. 
Noel, the pass to Middleton. Over Van Vliet. Pirtle with the block. Very hard to get a shot off over Jakob Pirtle when he's that tight on you. Too much size, too much height. McCollum outside. And it's stolen by Vanderbilt. Here comes Toronto on the push. And Middleton gets it to go on the assist from Williamson. And you see the confidence. Not shy at all about rising up from mid-range. Timeout call the Cavaliers. For the Cavaliers, Lynn comes in for Pirtle, and it's Curry in for McCullum. Here's Mobley. Pass to Lynn. And Nerlens Noel picks up the foul. That's his first foul. And so it's Cleveland with it. Trailing by four. Van Vliet, the pass to Curry. There's the screen by Lynn. Just five on the clock. The Cavaliers again cannot hit. And so it's Williamson who brings up the ball for the Raptors. Outside Ingram. Back to Williamson. It's stolen by Curry. Over Williamson. Curry, no good. The Raptors have gone four of seven, shooting a solid percentage. Outside Vanderbilt. Back to Ingram. Pass to Middleton. There's the three. Buries it from three. Middleton's got seven points. <laughs> An outstanding first quarter from the field. Cleveland has gone 0 for 2 from outside. Brown against Middleton. Brown passes to Curry. Oh, he buries the 20-footer. Well, the quick trigger and soft touch. This is what Seth Curry is paid to do. Ready on the catch and shoot opportunity. Ingram against Brown. Williamson outside. The three. Hauled in by Curry. That's not his spot, but given the lack of defense, you'd like to see him knock that one down. Van Vliet, the pass to Moore. Van Vliet with it. Middleton covering inside. Here's Lynn. Shoots over Noel. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. This is called getting a better understanding of the game. How and when to attack. Lynn going to the free throw line. And we'll look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Raptors. Well, you've got to be impressed with how selfless they've been so far. Their passing has been simply outstanding. Another big component of their early game tonight has been great job turnovers. Great job converting on those chances. Wiggins, he's checked in for Toronto. Derrick Rose comes in for Vanderbilt. And Cleveland with a change here, too. Grimes, he's checked in for Fred Van Vliet. Both good from the line that time. Well, still working to become a more accurate free throw shooter. And what you like about Lynn is he's getting to the free throw line a lot more consistently. Wiggins passes to Ingram. And the bucket is good. Ingram's got his third bucket of the night. The Cavs trailing. Pass to Mobley. Back to Brown. Again, cannot hit. Toronto has gone one of four from deep. Rose outside. Now here's Middleton. Shoots over Mobley. Middleton, no good. What a masterful job on the defensive end. Did everything possible to alter that shot. Pass to Mobley. And here's Curry. Mobley, a screen on Rose. Clock at four. Curry passes to Grimes. A deep three. 
Toronto grabs the miss. And that closeout certainly made a difference. Well, no question. He altered that shot. And most of the time, that's just as good as blocking it. Williamson then pulls it in. Boy, nine times out of ten, that's going in. I'm sure he surprised himself with the miss. Right wing. Drives the pass to Mobley. Here's Brown. 4-3. Zion Williamson grabs the miss. <laughs> you got to credit the defense this period. They've been all over him. Brown against Rose. Back to Williamson. Middleton outside. There's the triple. Tips. Well, for a big guy so light on his feet, when rising into the air with ease. Brown with it. And it's Ingram picking him up. From the line. Brown, that's good. After missing his first four shots, he finally gets one to drop. For Toronto, they've gone 6 of 13 so far in this one. Middleton looking around. Sweet little floater. Middleton's got nine. And using that six foot seven frame to get in there and do work, Middleton will take on anybody. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to stream together some shots to have any kind of chance. Time called here. The Cavs decide to talk it over. And some changes here for the Raptors. Keita comes in for Brandon Ingram. And it's Dinwiddie in for Rose. Toronto on D. It's a five-point game. McCollum finds Curry. Outside, Williams. McCollum on the wing. Williams, a screen on Dinwiddie. Clock at six. Here's Grimes. Cash money on the open jump shot. Well, deliver the pass where your teammate can do something with it. Nice. Pass to Williamson. Pick by Williamson. Wiggins passes to Middleton. Oh, rejected by Pirtle. So far, rebounding has been a focal point for them. Grimes shot is off. And so Dinwiddie will bring it up for Toronto. Three-point lead. Curry with a steal. Two on one as they jump out on the break. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. Play stops. A whistle there on what looks like an illegal screen. 
the screener was leaning a bit right there. His feet may not have been planted. Pretty obvious call by the officials. You know, he's just leaning a little bit. You try to get away with it, but boy, the official all over it. Hamptons checked in for Middleton. And Cleveland with a change here, too. Van Vliet checked in. Williams a screen on Rose. Here's McCollum. Buries it from about 10 feet away. Ready to cash in. I like when McCollum looks to mix it up like this. Wiggins outside. Wiggins with a screen on McCollum. Here's Rose. Another miss. Boy, they're in a funk right now. Seven second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Pass to Pirtle. And there's the foul. It will go on Derek Rose. That's his first foul. Dinwiddie, he's checked in for Hampton. Outside, Williams. McCullough with a screen on Rose. Here's Grimes. Blocked! And it's out of bounds to Cleveland. Shot clock at three. Launches a three. Connects from downtown. Grimes has got five points. Seven seconds left in the first quarter here. Shoots off the step back. Oh, with the clock running down, he nails a big shot. Big shot taken. And so the first quarter is in the books. The Cavaliers on top. They're up by four. And we'll be back shortly for the start of the second quarter. And welcome back to 2K Sports, everybody. This game six getting started. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for the Cavaliers. Yeah, I love the energy and aggressiveness I've seen from them on defense. They're really getting after it with all these blocks. Another thing they're doing right out of the gates tonight, applying a ton of defensive pressure. On the court right now for Cleveland. Seth Curry is out there with C.J. McCollum. This is Loman, then it's Jalen Brown. And it's Pirtle in at the top. Brown, that's good. Now, Jalen Brown is now so legit from deep. Boy, you better make sure you're contesting that three ball. That's how good he is. Ingram against Brown. Ingram, the pass to Kata. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Ingram. Ingram's got three assists now in this one. Boy, I don't think he'll get a screen assist for that hit, but they get the points, and that's all that matters. Outside, Brown. Let's it go from deep. That's his fifth miss. Only made two shots in this one so far. Pass to Dinwiddie. Wiggins outside. Back to Dinwiddie. The 15-footer. And the rebound goes to the Cavaliers. McCullum outside. Now Pirtle. He's covered by Dinwiddie. Dinwiddie on the double team. From deep Mobley. Here's Pirtle. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. That one's on Rose. Well, for Pirtle with Pirtle's size, that type of play he needs to make. Get inside, draw contact, get to the line, be physical. Love it. The Raptors making a switch here. Vanderbilt's checked in. Dinwiddie finds Vanderbilt. And a bit of a battle for the ball. And the officials signal a jump ball here. Kata pass to Dinwiddie. It's stolen by Pirtle. Dinwiddie against Brown. Shoots over Dinwiddie. A nice shot by Brown. Brown's got five points now this quarter. I tell you, what an improvement for Jalen Brown on the offensive end, both in recognition and execution. Hit that pull-up jumper, sir. Oh, rejected by Pirtle. To the middle. Here's Curry. And a great assist by Brown as that one goes in. Brown's got his third assist of the night. Ingram on the wing. Back to Dinwiddie. From behind the arc. And again, Toronto, no good. Boy, a really tough quarter for this guy. Just struggling to make shots right now. 
Here in corner two, we played a little over two and a half minutes now. He drops it from range. Brown's got ten points in the game. And the defense is really allowing them too much room on the perimeter. Pass to Vanderbilt. Dinwiddie with it. Now guarded by Mobley. Vanderbilt, a screen on McCullough. Plenty of daylight on that shot. He's got 11. Yeah, this is how competitive Ingram is. Getting his revenge with a three of his own. Now a timeout called by Cleveland. And something fans don't always get to see. Some of the closely guarded secrets that happen in that huddle. It's tough to hide your communications. Teams go to great lengths to try to do it, but sometimes to no avail. Middleton has checked in for Toronto. Lynn's checked in for Cleveland. Fred Van Vliet comes in for Brown. McCullum against Ingram. And there's the rejection. They retain possession. Two on the clock. Second chance shot. No luck on that one. Excellent D there from Wiggins. Here's Middleton. Lynn pulls it in. And this is a shot he can definitely make. And the defense not a factor at all. McCullum against Vanderbilt. There's the screen by Lynn. Down low. Oh, he missed the layup. He had it with the pump fake. And so it's Ingram with it. He brings it up for the Raptors. To the inside. And it's Middleton finishing it off. Oh, a beauty. Aggressive move by Middleton. Slamming it in to make a statement. Vanderbilt against McCollum. From deep. Doesn't go that time. Toronto has gone one of two from deep in the second quarter. Middleton against Curry. Wiggins outside. The Raptors need to get off a shot. Three-pointer is up. Middleton again. Middleton missing. Cleveland has gone two of five from distance here in the second quarter. McCullum outside. Lay in the high post. Inside. Here's Mobley. And he floats it in for the easy two. Credit the sweet setup on that one. Man, that is a big time tough finish. Evan Mobley doesn't back down. Curry against Wiggins. Here's Ingram. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. They're working the outside game more than they did in the first quarter. The balanced approach seems to be paying off. The Raptors making a switch here. Williamson's checked in. Grimes, he's checked in for the Cavaliers. Yeah, and Brandon Ingram doesn't get enough credit for his growth as a free throw shooter. He shot below 70% from the line in his first three seasons. But since then, he hasn't dipped below three. Lynn passes to Van Vliet. Here's Grimes. Puts up a three. Drills it from deep. Grimes has got eight. What a beautiful stroke from range. Defensively, you've got to try to take him out of his comfort zone. Right side Ingram. Pass to Middleton. Vanderbilt, a screen on Van Vliet. And the shot goes in. Middleton's got four points this quarter. Yeah, that's butter. I mean, Middleton with one of the smoothest jump shots in the league. Van Vliet outside. Back to McCollum. The rebound by Wiggins. Toronto trailing. Outside Ingram. Middleton with a screen on Van Vliet. Here's Ingram. Tries again. Here's Vanderbilt. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. I like that. I mean, some physical play inside. He's not about to give up any easy baskets. The first free throw is good. And a different look for Cleveland. Hurdles checked in for Lynn. Williams comes in for Mobley. And it's Jalen Brown in for C.J. McCullum. And so he's able to get one of two. The Cavaliers have gotten six shots to fall out of 13 attempts here in the second. Brown gets the
the bucket. Well, they're leading in large part because of the work he's put in in this quarter. This is nicely done. Williamson outside. Pass to Ingram. Brown with the block. Such a pesky defender. Jalen Brown, right place, right time. Vans lead against Vanderbilt. The three ball. Vans lead misses. Toronto has gone one for three from downtown here in the second. Middleton finds Vanderbilt. Here's Ingram. Goes up at the elbow. Good! Now 7 for 11 on the night. This guy is putting his fingerprints all over the game in this quarter. He has flat out dominated the offensive end. Defense! Defense! Ingram against Van Cleef. To the middle. Here's Pirtle. And it's Toronto with a rebound. Ingram's got four rebounds now. One reason this game is so tight is because both teams are hitting the boards with reckless advantage. It's rebounded by Cleveland. They've led by as many as 11. Brown against Middleton. Pirtle with the screen on Middleton. Brown. And another miss by Cleveland. For Toronto, they've gotten 7 of 15 shots here in the second quarter. Williamson up top. Williams defending. From six feet away. And he tries it off the glass, but it's no good. More often than not, he'll cash it in from that area. The defense might have done just enough to bother him. Van Vliet against Middleton. Outside, Williams. Pass to Van Vliet. Here's Grimes. With the floater. Vanderbilt with the block. They get it back. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Rose has checked in for Toronto. Middleton with it. He's got 13. Rose, a screen on Van Vliet. Here's Middleton. Well-placed jumper from the free throw line. Middleton's got 15 points. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player. You've got to want to work. Here's Brown. Vanderbilt pulls it in. Vanderbilt's got his fifth rebound in this one. To the paint. And Vanderbilt slams it in. No one's ever questioned his court vision. Rose playing unselfish basketball, being the leader this team needs him to be. Here's Grimes. Give him eight. It's Brown on the wing. And Middleton with the block. Wiggins against Williams. Here's Middleton. Oh, the go-ahead bucket, no good. And so Brown will bring it up for Cleveland. Van Vliet outside. A minute 53 left in the second. Six on the shot clock. Here's Grimes. Once again, off the mark by Cleveland. And it's Toronto's ball. They're on a 17-7 run. Rose outside. They set the pick. Oh, rejected by Pirtle. It's Grimes. And the bucket counts. And he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. Noel, he's checked in for Toronto. Ingram comes in for Wiggins. Mobley, he's checked in for Cleveland. C.J. McCollum comes in for Fred Van Vliet. Toronto's gone one for three from downtown here in the second. Ingram on the wing. With the fadeaway. Cavaliers with a rebound. Bernal's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. And it's good. Fought through contact. Hit the shot and will go to the line. Andrew Wiggins checked in for Noel. Curry, he's checked in for Cleveland.
think about what Jalen Brown brings to the table. Elite athleticism, three-point shot making, attacking the rim in transition, so much to like. Pass to Vanderbilt. Vanderbilt, a screen on Curry. Three-pointer is up. Middleton. Mobley grabs the board. He came out today planning to do as much damage from three-point range as possible. Well, it looks like it's time to change up the plan, guys. Mobley, a screen on Vanderbilt. Down low. It's dead. Fast break now for the Raptors. The basket counts and one. He'll go to the line, a chance at a three-point play. Well, Andrew Wiggins is a talented prospect. On the offensive end, he is as scary as it gets. And give them credit for making a more concerted effort to get to the line this quarter. Mobley passes to Brown. Mobley on a screen to the paint. And Mobley throws it down. But Jalen Brown getting better and better in pick and roll situations. There's a real willingness to give up the basketball. Up top, Wiggins. Kicks it out to Middleton. Outside Ingram. To the middle. Vanderbilt, the pass to Wiggins. Off target with the three. And so it's Cleveland closing out this quarter with a seven-point lead. Just pounding the painted area. That's helped him build an advantage. We'll be right back after this word. Some great postseason action in the first half of play. A healthy lead has been built for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Well, they got a huge boost from the second unit. Those guys came from the bench firing. Really changed the complexion of this matchup. That was one. Taking a look at how the series is going for the Raptors. With a chance to close out the series at home, you know they're feeling the pressure in this one, Kenny. Yeah, if they can't get it done in six, game seven will not be in their favor. This is their best chance. That's it for us. Great to have you with us again as we return to our coverage of round one. Boy, this has been one outstanding game from Brandon Ingram. Through the first two quarters, he's been on fire. Explosive offensive performance. Boy, he has been shouldering the load. Aggressive, skilled, talented, and thus far, unstoppable. We've got Jared Vanderbilt. Zion Williamson out there with Chris Middleton. Then it's Nerlens Noel, and it's Ingram in at the three. That's the group starting the second half for Darko Ryakovic. Six to shoot. Here's Williamson. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. It's going to be Evan Mobley. Yeah, hard not to foul Zion inside. He's just so broad and so aggressive. off even as much as we've seen him we still marvel at the power of zion around the basket it's hard for a defender to deal with this kind of strength here's mccullum van Vliet outside pass to Pirtle. and here's mccullum Started by Vanderbilt. Just three to shoot. Shots good by McCollum. For a 6'3 guard like McCollum, the floater is a must. Just goes right over the shot blockers. Brown against Ingram. Inside. And no Hammers it down. With the explosive leaping ability, he's able to play center despite being undersized. Noel's got four rebounds now. Ingram, pass to Vanderbilt. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Ingram. Vanderbilt's got five points. 
probably a play they drew up in the locker room at half. Well, there is nothing better than catching a rhythm as early as possible. And boy, that's a terrific start right there. Outside, Brown. Pass to Mobley. The three. Toronto grabs a miss. They are so close to taking the lead. This is one of those games where momentum is key. Now here's Vanderbilt. Back to Ingram. Williamson outside. The shot, no good. Hurdle with some nice D. Van Vliet, the pass to McCollum. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. And he does a great job. I mean, he baits you. CJ baits you into overcommitting defensively to draw the and one. Lens checked in for Pirtle. For Toronto, they've got two of three from the floor in this third quarter. Just under two and a half minutes into this third quarter now. Pass to Ingram. Shoots over Brown. Ooh, hits the difficult fadeaway jumper. He's got 18. And we continue to watch the rise of Ingram. He just keeps adding to his offensive repertoire. And he has to live. Here's Brown. Mobley deciding where to go with it. Brown can't hit. The Raptors have gotten three or four shots to fall so far in the third. It's Middleton on the wing, covered by Mobley. Middleton passes to Williamson. Up and over McCollum. Williamson misses. Oh, man, he can't get anything to fall. You can feel his frustration. He is trying to shoot his way out of it, and it might be better for him to pass the basketball at this point. Here's Brown. And once again, off the mark by Cleveland. And Ingram has got the ball here for Toronto. Since halftime, they've only allowed five points. The Cavaliers leading. Here's Brown. And Brown with the stuff. Now just show off that basketball IQ, Mr. Fred Van Vliet. Pretty pass, sir. Pass to Noel. Outside Ingram. Now Middleton. Ingram, the pass to Noel. Back to Ingram. Williamson with it. Three-pointer is up. Middleton. And the Raptors miss again. And even after airtight defense like that, you still just expect him to hit those kind of shots. That's the win. triple of the second half. That makes three for the game. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Here's Middleton. Guarded by Van Vliet. Middleton. No good. Cleveland has gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. McCollum finds Van Vliet. Three-pointer. Noel with the rebound. Noel's got his sixth rebound on the night. Noel with a screen on Brown. And the Raptors miss again. The Cavaliers have gone four of nine in the third quarter. Pass to Lynn. Back to McCullum. Takes a three. Hey, shooting the ball well. He's five for nine in the game. When you let a team knock down that many threes, you know you're likely out, to be on out. the wrong side of a run. And the Raptors call time here. And as the coaches draw up their strategies, the players staying hydrated with some Gatorade. That's key to keeping them at their best all the way up to the buzzer. It really is. And every one of those players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. A different look for Cleveland. Grimes, he's checked in for Fred Van Vliet, and it's Curry in for Brown. Pass to Vanderbilt. Williamson outside. 
Vanderbilt, a screen on Mobley. Now Ingram. To end the drought. Cavaliers with a rebound. McCollum's got five rebounds tonight. Here's Grimes. Back to McCollum. Excellent D there from Noel. Boy, in that close, he's almost automatic. Boy, that's pretty good defense. Wow. Williamson passes to Noel. The ball's knocked loose. Now Williamson. To the inside. Vanderbilt finds Ingram. Let's it go. Mobley grabs the board. Mobley's got eight rebounds in the game. <laughs> I'll tell you what, they've rebounded the ball tremendously well. McCullum outside. Mobley a screen on Noel. Here's McCullum on the take. Gets to the rim for two with the D all over him. McCullum's got ten points here in the second half. And time Toronto out, time calls out. time here. That's a good timeout. They just can't hit anything. Sometimes it just feels like misses become contagious. He wants to settle his guys down right now. The Raptors making a switch here. Wiggins has checked in. Outside Ingram. Shoots over Brown. Hurdle with the ball. Now Wiggins defending. On up the court. And the dunk by Pirtle. Well, I know he doesn't have to get too high to slam it home, but it doesn't take away from the force and the message sent on the dunk. Middleton against Curry. Pass to Ingram. Back to Middleton. Shoots over Curry. And that one's good. Middleton. Middleton's got 17. A polished scorer who continues to add to his game. Middleton gives defenders some serious problems. There's a screen to the middle. Here's Williams. Yep, that one goes. And the Cavaliers lead by 17. Yeah, their defense is starting to wear down. That's three straight buckets at the rim. Curry against Middleton. Pass to Noel. Now here's Ingram. Just five to shoot. Shoots over Brown. And Ingram gets it to go. On the assist by Noel. Ingram's got four points this quarter. Outside Curry. Picked by Pirtle. Let's it fly. Offensive board. And the dunk by Pirtle. <laughs> and this is something he does all too well. Great position for the putback there. And I like how he doesn't think twice about passing it out. Just going right for the slam. <laughs> no reason to do so there. He was going to leave no doubt. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. Curry passes to Brown. Oh, rejected by Wiggins. Well, using every bit of that seven-foot wingspan, Wiggins airmailing it back. This guy is cooking right now. He is leading them on the offensive end as they remain in front here. Pass to Noel. Hurdle with the ball. And Noel picks him up defensively. Here's Curry. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Six points for him. All right, guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for Cleveland. You have to be a fan of the energy they played with on the defensive end. Active hands and feet. And it's come up big a few times for them. And you also have to love the way they've gotten out and run in transition. A ton of good chances tonight simply from being willing to run the floor. I'll tell you, it's been a struggle for him in this period, and they're struggling as a result. Here's Grimes. And a great assist by Brown as that one goes in. Brown's got seven assists in the game. Down low. A shot to stop the run. And a slam dunk by Ingram. I mean, the versatility of Middleton. Not just a score, also a solid passer and distributor. Now a timeout called by Cleveland. And the Raptors with some changes. Cadiz checked in for Noel. 
Marshall comes in for Zion Williamson. And Rose is subbed in for Chris Middleton. Fred Van Vliet is checked in for Cleveland. McCollum comes in for Curry. Van Vliet, the pass to McCollum. And here's Pirtle. Outside, Brown. And there's the drive. Shoots from 14. The shot's good. Brown's got seven points for the quarter. One of Jalen Brown's advantages is the lift he gets off the floor. Just a tremendous athlete. Kato, pass to Wiggins. Sinks it from distance. Absolutely lifting that all day, every day. I'm sure he was shocked to find himself that wide open. Ben's lead against Ingram. Pass to Williams. Van Vliet scanning the floor. Five to shoot. Cleveland needs to get off a shot. And he gets it to go. Williams has got his second basket of the game. And force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. Ingram on the wing. Shoots over Brown. Cavaliers with a rebound. Pirtle's got 13 rebounds in the game. Glass heating. They've shown the power inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. Van Vliet, the pass to Pirtle. And the dunk by Pirtle. Jakob Pirtle is cooked in today. This guy has tremendous upside, good touch, and a really good feel for the game. Five-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Wiggins for three. And the Raptors, another three. 19 seconds left in the third quarter here. Here's Brown. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Well, you have got to appreciate how far Jalen Brown goes. Amazing how he gets defenders to foul him when he's going up with a shot. First free throw is good. off on the second Brown against Ingram shoots over Brown that misses would have counted had it gone it's been all about Jalen Brown for the Cavaliers continued to rack up points in that quarter his total for the night to 23 all right stick around we'll be right back after this Thanks for joining us again for round one of the NBA playoffs. The Cavaliers shooting efficiently, 50% so far. On the court for the Cavaliers. They've got Alex Lynn, Mobley, out there with Fred Van Vliet. Then there's C.J. McCollum, and it's Grimes in at the two-guard. Here's Lynn. Laid it in with a nice touch off the window. And a nice bump for their offense this half. Now shooting over 50% for the game. Dinwiddie with a screen on Van Vliet. Elbow shot. And the shot goes. Middleton's got 19 points. You know, I think this guy just loves the game of basketball. The preparation, the interaction with his teammates. He has fun out there on the floor. Pass to Mobley. There's a screen by Lynn. Five on the clock. Dinwiddie on the double team. Jacks up a three. It's hauled in by the Raptors. Vanderbilt's got ten rebounds here tonight. So active. Here's Kata. And here's Wiggins. Inside. Kata gets the bucket. Coming off that screen, head up, Wiggins makes the right choice. And Van Vliet has got the ball here for the Cavaliers. Earlier in the game, they held a 25-point lead. There's McCullough with the three. The rebound by Wiggins. The Raptors shooting an average of 43% for the floor. To the paint. Here's Cato. Oh. And the dunk to finish it off. Oh, beauty. That's the idea. You work the ball into that area. It's a sweet spot. Derek Rose, he's checked in for Toronto.
Cavs have gone one of four since the fourth quarter began. McCullum against Vanderbilt. Mobley on a screen. Inside. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. That one's on Rose. Boy, Evan Mobley getting more and more capable as an offensive player. Draws the contact nicely right there. throws good for Mobley. They're really shooting better from the free throw line since halftime. That's a big plus if you're holding a late lead. Van Vliet against Middleton. Pass to Rose. Van a screen on Mobley. From deep, Rose. Mobley grabs the board. Mobley's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. McCollum taking his time here. Takes one from 10 feet. He squares up and sinks it. McCollum's got 12 points here in the second half. You know, put a rough first half behind him. He's absolutely crushing it here in the second. Wiggins outside. Back to Rose. And no good. Good D by Mobley. The Cavaliers have gone 2 of 5 from the field in this final quarter. There's a screen by Lynn. The rebound by Wiggins. I've been in this position. Your team is up. You want to drive in the dagger. He may be a little over eager. Vanderbilt. And they're going to count that bucket. And they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. Noel, he's checked in for Cato. Curry, he's checked in for the Cavs. Jalen Brown comes in for McCullum. Cleveland has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Here's Curry. 11 feet out and he hits it. And the Cavaliers lead by 21. Well, the three-level scoring ability. Seth Curry from the mid-range. Yes, sir. Outside Vanderbilt. Pass to Middleton. Vanderbilt, a screen on Curry. Middleton from the outside. Kept alive. Good D by Mobley. The Cavaliers have gotten three of seven attempts in this fourth quarter to fall. Good on the shot. Curry's got four points now in the quarter. I think he's adding more toughness to his game, and it's great to see Seth Curry stick with it and finish strong. Noel with a screen on Curry. Middleton from the outside. Counted from distance. This is as pure a shooter as there is. You've got to stay connected or it's a problem. Now here's Brown. He shoots. That one rolls around and rims out. Rose against Curry. Out to the right wing. Wiggins outside. Three-pointer is up. Middleton. Len pulls it in. Len's got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Pass to Brown. Toronto grabs a miss. Middleton outside. Rose with it. Back to Middleton. Uses the glass on the layup. Middleton's got nine points here in the second half. You know, and with a rare combination of length and shooting, Chris Middleton is a bucket. Mobley outside. Over Vanderbilt. And Mobley gets it to go. And the Cavaliers lead by 20. And he couldn't get an easier shot. The defense right now just looks defeated. Well, simply stated, simply not enough effort. Not enough attention to detail. They've gotten run over this evening. Vanderbilt with a screen. Wiggins from long range. Hits the trifecta. Well, nice decision on the pick and roll. Wiggins getting his own offense within the flow. The Cavaliers have gone 5 of 11 so far in the fourth. Brown with it. Pass to Lynn. Left side Curry. 
Down to five on the shot clock. Oh, no good. And so it's Rose who brings up the ball for the Toronto Raptors. Trailing by 17. Wiggins outside. The Cavaliers pull it in. Mobley's got 11 rebounds in the game. And their physical dominance has been on display. A 10 rebound advantage is a good indicator of how this game is going. Wow, no good. And that's exactly how tightly you have to guard him every time he steps to the arc. He's just that good. And that one drops. Rose has got his first bucket in this one. Well, really nice delivery from Andrew Wiggins. We know he's a gifted scorer, but that will really smooth out his game. Mobley, a screen on Middleton. Brown inside. Middleton covering. Here's Grimes. Vanderbilt with the block. And they get it back. And Mobley gets it to go. Toronto calls timeout. And now let's take a look at the new balance. Player of the game, Jakob Pertl. And it's easy to see why they keep getting it to him. He keeps getting after it on the offensive end and putting in that work. He's been getting good looks and shooting the ball efficiently all night. Boy, what a courageous performance. On the road in a pressure-packed situation, it only brought out his best. And now it's time to take another view of that huge swat. You know that block has him and his teammates all pumped up. That is what playoff basketball is all about. Cleveland has gone 0 for 3 here in the 4th. Pass to Brown. To the right side. Here's Pirtle. Vanderbilt pulls it in. Toronto's got two of five threes to go here in the fourth. Ingram, pass to Middleton. Shoots over Brown. And Middleton gets it to go on the assist by Ingram. Middleton's got 11 in the second half. Cleveland's shooting about 48% from the floor. Pretty good. Vanderbilt against McCullum. Pass to Brown. Down low. Pirtle. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. gets the call. And the Raptors make it a change here. Noel's checked in. A difficult situation for Toronto. Now Ingram. Middleton with it. Now guarded by Brown. Middleton against Brown. Now here's Middleton. Not a lot of room. The shot, no good. Nice D from Brown. So far, rebounding has been a big factor tonight. Pass to Pirtle. Three-pointer, Van Vliet. Sinks the tray. Van Vliet's gotten himself going here. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Brown against Ingram. Middleton outside. Lex a three fly. Cavaliers with the rebound. Pirtle's got 14. Yep, 14 rebounds for him tonight. McCullum against Vanderbilt. Pass to Van Vliet. Fires the three. He can't hit that time. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. And again, no good by Toronto. Cleveland has gone one for five shooting from the arc here in the fourth. McCollum finds Brown. Just four to shoot. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. Free throw good. Brown. Here's Middleton. 156 left in the fourth quarter. Pass to Noel. Oh. 
outside Ingram. Six on the shot clock. Shoots over Brown. Oh, no good. The dry spell continues. Vanderbilt against McCollum. Mobley, a screen on Vanderbilt. McCollum outside. Brown scanning the floor. Here's Pirtle. Here's Van Vliet. Oh, blocked by Ingram. I know they love to see Ingram make big plays on defense, and that's the energy they want from him. And what an effort to pull off game six. Things are looking rosy right now for the Cavaliers. And everything seemed to go their way today. They were firing on all cylinders, Grant. Yeah, B.A., this was the kind of performance you relish as a player. Just a very impressive win. This series has already been such a nail-biter. And now they've managed to force a Game 7. You have to applaud the grit they showed out there tonight. Yeah, they really proved they're in this to win it all. And now they've got a little bit of forward momentum on their side. Should be a very entertaining Game 7. A shot from the mid-range. Good on the jump shot. Middleton's got 30. Well, they needed this run way earlier. At some point, it's too little, too late. Yeah, but then again, this run came against a team that may have felt it had already won, and you get the sense it let its guard down. And the call is going to be, yes, an illegal screen. The screener was leaning a bit right there. His feet may not have been planted. Pretty obvious call by the officials. You know, he's just leaning a little bit. You try to get away with it, but boy, the official all over it. Here's Hampton, defended by Brown. And so Cleveland takes this one by a big margin. They're able to force a winner-take-all Game 7. They stave off elimination, and anyone can win this series now. And really, they answered the call tonight. Allie, thank you as always. And that about wraps it up for this broadcast of...